Hello, you are watching your 2022 predictions and this is for number 9s. If you are born on the 9th, 18th or the 27th of any month, if you are in Aries or Scorpio, this reading is for you. Let's quickly look at what the cards hold for you. Oh my God, starting the year with the tower. Quite adventurous this year, I can feel already. Um... Let's look at what are the energies coming by for this uh, for this year. Uh, starting the year not on a great note, you have the Tower card. Something that you had expected to fall through is not going to happen and it's going to end up drastically. The second month, I see you juggling with a lot of things, a lot of, um, uh, you know, um, work, home, work, relationships, relationships, home, relationships, work uh, could be the theme of the month. Uh, February looks like a very, very, very difficult month for, uh, for number nines. The third month, you are getting a cup that you are rejecting. This could be an opportunity. This could be a hand. Um, this could be a cup of love. Whatever it is, uh, you are not accepting it. And this is an opportunity that can actually evolve and become the opportunity of your life. The fourth month, April, you are going to hoard your energies or your money or something that you are not willing to give. Overall, I feel that in the first four months, you're not able to give a lot to the world and you're only about taking when probably not even responding. The fifth month is going to be a game changer for you. World, the world card, wheel of fortune is going to um, you know revolve your world it's going to bring you opportunities it's going to even give you travel if i'm if i may say you could be traveling to your hometown you could be traveling to somewhere you have fond memories of and uh, this will bring you a lot of luck uh, the sixth month again you will be basking in glory of your old relationships maybe having a great time with your mother or mother like figure Mother um, could also be your uh, hometown <clears throat> where you could be going and you could be having a lot of fun uh, time, fun moments. This could also show the bond of your uh, siblings, the bond with your siblings. Somewhere uh, you will go there to have that therapeutic uh, uh, time with them so that you're able to come out of whatever you've lost in the first four to five months. Uh, in the seventh month or uh, uh, July, you are renewing, you are renewing your energies, you are finishing one chapter and in the eighth month, you are, cha you are starting another. Whatever it is that you're starting, there requires a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. There could be a third party interference. When we reach that month, I'm going to pull out the uh, monthly energies where you will be able to exactly pinpoint what is it that is uh, developing in your life at that point of time the only thing is that whatever you are going to go through keep it discreet do not disclose details the minute you disclose details people around you who probably do not want the best for you are going to be alert and are going to strategize other ways to spoil it in the ninth month we have the magician card you have all the resources that you require to succeed the Hierophant, again, in the 11th month. Uh, sorry, this is um, October. In the 11th month, you have the Hierophant. If you are looking to get married, uh, probably a, uh, an arranged marriage, then this is the time this happens. Uh, could also be indicating towards court cases or uh, anything to do with the law. Probably you have to close something. Probably you have... Uh, you know, uh, something to begin, maybe a new firm, maybe a new organization that you put into existence. The 12th month is all about strength. If you have the strength, if you have the courage to take that one step again, you are going to reach where you have to. One advice that you have for the entire year is keep going forward. The one question that should be the theme of 2021 for you is... How can I learn to speak more freely around loved ones? If this is something that you have been struggling with, now is the time you get over with. Now the cards for your January energy, King Knight of Wands, 
फोर ऑफ पेंटिकल्स नाइट ऑफ स्वाथ अगेन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ नाइट एनर्जी इज नॉट ग्रेट मूविंग टू क्विकली टू रीच समवेयर टू सून एंड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ होर्डिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी इन टर्म्स ऑफ वट एवर इट इज यू हैव टू लेट गो इफ यू डू नॉट थिंक बिफोर वॉट यू डू यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू रीच वे यू हैव टू वट एवर इट इज यू हैव टू हैव टू हैव टू मेक अप योर माइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट यू वॉन्ट द एंड रिजल्ट टू बी इज इट पीस इज इट गोइंग टू मैटर टू यू इन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स इफ येस देन प्लीज गो अहेड इफ नो टोन डाउन योर एनर्जीज मार्स एंड वीनस डू नॉट गो अलॉन्ग टू वेल Mars, uh, Venus is the uh, is the planet of love, uh, softness, smoothness. Mars is a is a planet of warrior, uh, is a planet of war. Uh, this year, your main lesson would be to tone down your energies, to underplay and not overplay. When you try to sort out things with love and empathy, you are going to get your way forward. Uh, let's look at a love advice that we could have for you for twenty twenty two. Let's quickly look into a love advice for number nines. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. If this is you, for a lot of people, I see there is a divorce that is going to happen. For a lot of people, I again see imprisonment or im imprisonment in the mind. Um, you know, being locked in the mind where you're not able to get out of it. whatever the situation is try to sort it out very very peacefully because if you don't you are in for a lot of trouble so number 9s this was your year ahead i am going to bring you monthly predictions every month and uh, we will see how these energies develop for you month on month and uh, if you have any other things that uh, if you need any other clarity Uh, about things happening in your life you can always reach ruhani guidance and we can do a personal session for you and uh, figure out your energies and give you the remedies for the same thank you and i wish you a great 2022 ahead thank you